Hey ICB, I hope you're doing well, that you're safe in your homes. We're really missing you and looking forward to the time when we can all be together again. But for now, I'm just excited to take a few minutes um, and share something that the Lord put on my heart. Um, I hope it's encouraging to you as it has been to me during this season. Um, this morning as I was thinking and praying about what to share, I uh, just started feeling that kind of nudge of insecurity. Surely there's someone who's more equipped for this or someone who has something better to say. And the Lord reminded me, like he always does, that that we are enough and that the way that he has created us is exactly the way that he needs us to be, to do the work that he's called us to do. So I just wanna share a little story from scripture um, that kind of reminds me of this. Uh, and I hope that it, this just encourages you this morning. Um, in the Gospels, there's a story of Jesus feeding a crowd of 5,000. Um, it's written in all four Gospels and different accounts of it. Um, but, but my favorite account of it is in John chapter 6, um, starting in verse 5. It says, Lifting up his eyes and seeing a large crowd was coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we going to buy bread so that all of these people can eat? In verse 7, it says, Philip answered him, 200 denarii worth of bread would not be enough for each of them to get just a little. And then one of the disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There's a little boy here with five barley loaves and two fish, but what good is that with a crowd so large? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. And then in verse 11, it says, Jesus then took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them among those who were there. So all the fish, so also the fish, and as much as they wanted. And when they had all eaten their fill, he told the disciples, gather up the leftover fragments that nothing should be lost. I love this story because there's a little boy and he has some, he has his lunch. <laughs> he just has his lunch for the day and he sees this huge crowd of people and he doesn't think, well, my lunch isn't going to make a difference. He thinks I can give my food to Jesus. So he takes it and he gives it to Jesus. And if we look back in verse nine, Andrew says, this little boy has some bread and some fish, but what good is that? What is What good is that going to do with this huge crowd of people? Have you ever felt that way? Have you ever felt like what I have to offer is not enough? There's so much going on around me. How could I possibly offer anything that could that could help this situation or how could what I have be enough to help this situation right now we're living through a really strange thing we're all experiencing something that we've never experienced before and we it's so easy to look around us and say the need is huge my neighbors need help my community needs help my church needs help how can I possibly offer enough in this situation just think about that little boy in the story. He gave his lunch to Jesus, and then he got to watch one of the greatest miracles of all times happen. What if he had held back? What if he had said it's not sufficient and it's not enough? Jesus could have done the miracle again, but but what I love about this story is that little boy got to watch what Jesus could do through his offering. One of my favorite passages in all of scripture is Psalm 139, and it just reminds us that we are so carefully created by our Father, that He puts so much care and so much detail into making us who we are. It says that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. And I'm reminded today, as God reminds me all the time, that if He put that much care and that much attention into creating us, that He wants to use us just as we are. So today I wanna to encourage you that if you're going through something or if you're feeling a little insecure about what you can do in the middle of this craziness. I just want to encourage you to offer what you have to the Lord. Give him what you can and watch him use it and watch him do incredible things through you. I hope that encourages you today. I want to just take a minute to pray um, for you and for our community. God, I thank you so much for your word. I thank you that you um, just remind us again of how you can use us. You remind us of what you can do and of your power. And God, even though sometimes we're so um, small or so uh, we feel so insignificant. God, you remind us that you, you've created us to be so significant and you've created us to be exactly what you need. And so I just pray that you would encourage us all today that we can be used by you. I pray that you would take what we have to offer and you would turn it into incredible things. I pray that you'd open our eyes to the people around us, help us to see the needs and to see what we can do to make those 
to, to help those needs and to fill those needs. God, I thank you that you have your hand on all of us, that you're doing incredible things through, um, through our lives. I thank you that you are keeping us safe. I just pray again for your protection over ICB. I pray for our neighbors and for our communities and for the people that are surrounding us. We pray your peace and your protection that it would reign in this city. God, we pray that you would do incredible things through this time. And I pray that you would just bless all of my friends during this, this, this season. God, we love you so much. We thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you guys for letting me share with you this morning. I hope that this has been encouraging for you. I really can't wait to see your faces again. We love you. We're praying for you. Stay safe.